all you haters out there like, oh, he's bitching and complaining. Like, well, it's supposed to be this. I get it. I fucking get it. It's not supposed to be a happy ending for everybody. Mm-hmm. But we cannot deny, starting from that, I'm not discussing this episode yet. Last episode, the sloppy writing that has led us to this point. That's all I want to say before we begin. Go ahead and take it away, Elias. All right. So, yeah, so this is season eight, episode six, the final episode of the series. Um, so we have in the beginning. So, OK. Episode five, Daenerys goes ham on fucking King's Landing, destroys everything and Every everyone. Time. And now we start off with episode six and it's Tyrion like basically walking through all the, the ashes, the rubble. See the, the carnage. All the carnage, the people walking by with all the, the being burnt. Like some of them are still like walking around, but they're all like mm-hmm. burnt. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, but yeah, I mean, this episode, the way it opened, it it's like, man, like it, it gave me a lot of like, uh, like, like a sense of like this. Like everything that happened so far and what happened in this, like in the beginning, like how they opened it, it's just like, it's like, it's like, fuck, like everything we did, like, what was it for? Like this shit? Like, fuck, you know, Tyrion has looked like shit. Uh, John is like, what the fuck? And yeah, what were we going to say? Well, no, what I was going to say from your, it's a buildup supposedly from all of the episodes coming up to this point Mm -hmm. to what has occurred. And I feel like. You start off the episode like, what the fuck? Like, mm-hmm. right? she really did do this shit. And so Tyrion's walking <laughs> and looking at this shit. And John's like, right on his ass. Just looking at this. And there's fucking kids burnt. There's mm-hmm. fucking, like, carnage all over. Rubble everywhere. So, you know, John basically is like, hey, you know, you're walking alone by yourself. Let me send, you know, some bodyguards with you. And Tyrion's like, nah, motherfucker. I want to see this shit on my own. Because mm-hmm. he knows about his sister and his brother. So... He goes on his own. Oh, and- right. He uh, Tyrion goes off looking for his brother and sister because he goes into uh, the Red Keep and he goes into the, the basement mm-hmm. looking for them because he, he told he told uh, Jamie to go get his sister and like escape through there. But uh, I think uh, right before that, though, like John is actually walking around, too. And then he sees Grey yeah, that's right. about to execute some prisoners. And then John is like, what are you doing? You know, they're prisoners it's over if you can if you can't tell like by looking around you guys won yeah sir like, davos tells him like how much more how much more you want like they're done yeah. and gray was like no by the order of the queen like and like the thing is john grabs his arm and then all these soldiers get off. oh yeah yeah so and- gray warm uh, like grabs his dagger and is about to like cut one of them and then john grabs his arm and as soon as he yeah. grabs his arm like all the unsullied like ready their arms and like and right take there down that fool right there sloppy writing sloppy yeah. writing I think it was sloppy writing. Like, you could tell right off the bat exactly what was going to go on. Like, mm-hmm. John was going to get butthurt. John was going to get upset. And, man, you knew he was going to go to the queen. Like, right off the bat, like, I was like, what the what the hell? And so, essentially, I feel, I feel like that was sloppy writing. They just did it quick and easy. Because, think about it. How are they finding these guards? I mean, just whatever. Point is, um, that occurs. And John's like, what the hell? And then we cut to Tyrion searching through the rubble. And then to me, this is a, another sloppy form of writing. Like, they just hurried this up. You could mm-hmm. tell the show was hurried up. Uh, he finds uh, Jamie and Cersei's under the rubble and he's crying. And it was a very mm-hmm. traumatic scene. I think that was, if it would have been just Jamie, I think it would have been a lot more touching. Oh, because okay, yeah. no one wanted that ending for Cersei's. You know what I mean? Like, that's not the ending we had in mind. Once again, I know that Game of Thrones is not meant to make everybody happy. Everyone, I get it. But that ending itself, it just felt hurried. It's like they didn't know how to kill Xerxes because they didn't know how to do this or that, or maybe because they didn't want to unify everybody. So they just threw her in there and just like, oh, she's going to she's gonna be in the arms of, of Jamie. Like, to me, that was sloppy writing. But Tyrion finds him. He's crying. He's upset. Yeah, he's upset. And, it, I mean, honestly, when I saw that that ep- that scene, too, I was like, like, well, there, there goes Cersei, like one of the baddest bitches in this whole series, fucking dying of rocks. Like, uh, and, so, and and what's and what the thing is, what's the point of all that? Like, yeah. you promote her as this character, as because she's the main villain. Yeah. She's the main since season one when she does that to Ned Stark. She's the main villain. She's a conspirer. She's the one pulling the strings. 
and and for you to end those streams in that manner, it's yeah. like. But then, like I said, I understand Game of Thrones isn't meant to make everybody happy. So maybe in a way, but I feel like uh, um, the writer of Game of Thrones, and I'm glad he did that. He was like, well, I'm not following the show. I'm doing my own thing. Mm, so okay. to me, that gives me hope because the, the way they ended it, it just felt rushed. Like they didn't know what to do with Xerxes. So they were like, fuck it. Yeah, I think a lot of it too came down to them trying to be, oh, let's let's surprise him, let's shock him, let's yeah. it, it have the audience expect the unexpected or not expect this to happen. So I think a lot of that drove them in terms of the, like the writing for this episode, actually this entire season. Yeah, and really. I hate that. I I fucking hated that. Like the more I think about it, the more I, like I was like in the beginning, I was like, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. And then towards then the fifth episode happened, and then the fifth fifth episode happened, I'm like. Yeah, it's an eight out of ten. And then I, the more I thought about it, dude, the more I'm like, man, dude, they fucked it up. Like they like, rushed. Fuck, like fuck, fuck, like these people who are like, oh, you're not true fans because you started watching yeah. this like just like like a week before it started, like the final season started. I'm like, no, fucker, I, I watched this since day one. Man, it's been ten years. I, the last when I started watching the show, I was 21 years old, motherfuckers. 21, 22. <laughs> you can't fucking tell me shit. And not only that, I had already read the books. Yeah. So these people can't tell me nothing. These people can't say shit, can't tell me nothing. Uh, bad writing all around. Yeah, before I, I, episode I, I can't, five, I can't defend it anymore. Five. Like this, this final episode. The more, I mean, we'll talk about it right now more. But the way it just ended is just like, I don't know. But anyways, let's get let's get to that part. Yeah. So yeah. okay. So then we cut to a scene where, uh, of course, it's the the Dothraki, the Unsullied. <laughs> <laughs> all just like <laughs> That's all like hearing. all lined up celebrating pretty much well the dothraki the on solid just you know statues and then danny comes out and she makes a speech basically uh tldr of the speech is like okay we won this war we, and we freed these people I'm like, when she said that, I'm like, what people, bro? You burned everybody. I know. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Of. That, bro, that's how you know it was sloppy writing. Because usually, <laughs> they usually send, like, they usually give you, like, good good reasons. Like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. And then, <laughs> and, okay, well, so, okay, so so she goes and tells them, like, okay, okay uh, we freed these people. It's time to free, free the Winterfell people, the people beyond that, here or there. You know, she starts naming off different uh, locations yeah. on, on the, in and, the world. And before this, Arya, Arya is walking. She, she sees Jon mm. Snow walking because Jon Snow, after he has an exchange with uh, with uh, Grey, Worm, Grey Worm, he goes mm -hmm. looking for the queen because mm -hmm. her daughter's like, let's go, let's go look for her. So then they go looking for the queen, and then while they're looking for the queen, Arya it's a shot Arya. She sees Jon Snow walking by, and Jon Snow is just seeing all this in front of him, like what the fuck. And so Arya's like, like easing her way through everybody, weaving her way. And then the queen comes out. She lands. The dragon comes on top. She lands. She starts speaking, and and it was just like there were no people. <laughs> there was it. Was just, it was just her army. It was army. just her army. Yeah, that's like, it. Like, like okay. And then she's like, oh, you know, thank you. You fought for me for this. And she's like, Grey Worm, you're my master at war. And Grey was just like, because Miss Sunday. Uh, uh, and, 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 oh my god, dude! Like Trash Grey Worm, bro. they put so much focus this season on Grey Worm, and he was never a central part of the goddamn story. Yeah. Oh yeah, my no, god. like okay. <clears throat> so yeah, she makes a stupid ass speech about like trying to uh, pretty much liberate the rest of the world. Yeah. And of course, uh, Tyrion is there. Uh, John is there. And Tyrion's pissed. And Tyrion like walks up to her, like to her side, and after she makes her little speech. She's like, you let your brother go. And he's like, what did he say? He's you, like, I, you, you killed, a, you yeah. killed everyone or something like that. I don't know. He, I don't goes, he goes, I set my brother free. You slaughtered an entire city. Oh, yeah. She said, you like, betrayed bitch, me. What's yeah. your point? He's yeah. like, I freed my brother. I didn't kill nobody. You yeah. over here slaying the whole fucking city. And like the most gangster shit, he grabs that shit. He's a man. Oh, yeah. He yo. grabs a little uh, yeah, the thingy for the right hand of the hand of the, the king that, and just yeah. chucks that shit. And she's like, take him. And yeah. so they, they take him. And John's just, and then uh, this is how you know they weren't writing well. Like, John has no say. John's just looking. Like, the way they built up John is like, he takes a man of action now. He oh, takes man. Action. The, they ruined John, dude. John was like a ruined character in this season. Oh, dude. my God, dude. It was like, just bad. Like, you don't, they, okay, fuck. Let's just focus right now on John right now. You don't give John the, 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 the part Respect. to kill the Night King. You don't give John the part to kill anybody. Like, 
Who the fuck does he do it? What what is he doing here? And the whole purpose was because he was brought back to life to supposedly to take care of the Night King. At least yeah. take care of the Night King. Or, or you know what? It would have been a better ending if Jon Snow and the Night King killed them both themselves. Like yeah. that would have made more sense. I think sense. it would have been way better if they, they killed each other. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen in the book. Uh, like yeah. they because it makes more sense. He's just there. He's just standing there taking this all in. And it's like you you emphasize so much on this character. Even in the books, he's emphasized. But the moment the books end, the writers of the series of of, of the show. I mean, but you you they, gotta imagine they they, they at least had uh, George's input in it too. I mean, you gotta think at least they talk to him. And be like, what do you think of this? From what I'm seeing from the interviews that he did, he has come out pretty strongly. And if you go, you can find this all on YouTube. Okay. He came out on uh, pretty strongly and said, "I'm not following the the show." Like they asked for certain inputs, and I gave it to them. But it wasn't set in stone. I told him. I, mm. I told him what I was thinking that could occur, but it was not set in stone. I'm not. I might not have that in my book. So oh, that okay. just goes to show you, like they took a lot of liberties because all the way up to the point uh, 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 where where Jon Snow gets stabbed, like we don't know because in the books he's we don't know if he's dead or alive. It just ends where he gets stabbed. We don't know. Oh, so okay. moving forward, there's parts in there that the directors took liberties in, or the writers. Oh, took I didn't liberties. realize it was that far back in the books. Yes, yes, like, it's that far oh, back. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I just feel like they just destroyed John's character. They gave him no respect. He had no part. All they did was focus on how he was a leader of men. That's yeah. it. And That's then it. okay, and then after this, so of course Tyrion gets taken away and in, in like pretty much in prison, like for or like in a room, whatever. And then John goes to visit him. Yeah. And they're pretty much their whole conversation was was Tyrion trying to tell John, look, you seen what she's done. Averis was right. We were wrong. Yeah. She needs to go. Pretty and, much. And, and just to say how like they're pushing for uh uh Danny uh to be the villain, like before that happens, like Arya, mm -hmm. like the queen grabs Tyrion, they walk away, and then Arya comes right behind Jon Snow. And she's like, uh, he's like, what are you doing here? You know how you're okay or whatever, whatever. And she's like, hey, you need to leave because she knows that you're the true heir. And um, mm -hmm. I, I know a killer when I see one. And I'm like, dude, you're just pushing the agenda to make, yeah. oh, my God. So anyway, that happens. John goes and they have a talk with Tyrion. And Tyrion basically tells him, I believed in her. I fucked up. I messed up. She killed the people. You, and then, like, this is where I was like, oh. he tells him, like, and, 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 and it made sense, like, the reasons why he needs to take over. He's like, I'm asking for this favor, but you're not going to like it. And then you see John's face, and, and basically Tyrion's telling him, hey, you need, to, you need to find a way to get rid of her because if you don't, you know how she is. He's, she, and he explains how she's a conqueror, how, like, she believes she, she knows what, what really good is uh, instead mm -hmm, of everybody, mm -hmm. for everybody. Um, and, and John's just there taking it all in. And once again, bad writing. John is a character who's been dead. Who's come back from the dead? He's mm -hmm. fought. He's faced the Night King. He's killed White Walkers, and he's just like, oh, I don't know what to do. Well, yeah, <sighs> they 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 try to put it as like he's madly in love with her, and then there's nothing he wouldn't do for her. Yeah. And the whole time that Tyrion was trying to tell him about this, he's like, No, what you're talking about is treason. I'm not gonna betray my queen. She's my queen. She's your queen. She's everyone's queen. Whatever. So I mean, John throughout the whole conversation was pretty much on Danny's side. But he was, I think he was like crying or whimpering or something. He's like, because he knew that she's going to no, have to die. Because he says, uh, love, uh, uh, love destroys all duty or something. Love trumps all duty. He says some stupid yeah, he says shit some like that. Stupid shit. Yeah. And, and, Terry, and Terry's like, duty is trumps love. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all guys talking about? <laughs> no, like, that's something, that's something they told him at the Night's Watch whenever he was there. Yeah. I forgot who told him that, but somebody told yeah. him. Yeah. Cause you remember, uh, Targaryen, uh, uh, Agamemnon Targaryen, who was like, the oh, medicine yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he said that. So like, like, I'm just like, uh, oh, whatever, dude. I, I was just like, whatever. So they have that talk, okay? And John's like, I'm not gonna betray her. Like, I don't care what you say. I'm not gonna betray her. And then he's like, he's like, he, and then Tyrion's like, throws his, and then oh, throws him at his face. Oh, what about your sisters? And he's like, my sisters are gonna be loyal to the queen. And he's like, why do you think Sansa told me? Yeah. And he's like, look, man, it's not my choice. He's like, no, it is your choice. You have a mm -hmm. choice to make, and you gotta make it now. Mm -hmm. So we cut through this part where 
and, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, where, where he's walking up to the queen and we see Drogo, and it's a really cool part. Oh, like, yeah, with the dragons, like, in, in the snow, or is it ashes? I don't know yeah. at this point. But, okay. yeah, it's ashes because there is no fucking snow in King's Landing. Yeah. <laughs> but, now, uh, yeah, like, it, it, he's walking up to the Red Keep looking for Danny. And yeah. then as he walks up, you see, like, the fucking, like, mound of, like, ash start to move. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's fucking Drogon just fucking yeah. chilling in there. And then Drogon, like, shakes the, the, <laughs> the ashes off. And he smells John for a little bit. And he's like, all right, you can pass. <laughs> but, yeah, that was actually, that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck? <laughs> but, yeah, at this point, um, so John yeah, walks yeah. into the throne room. And at this point, Danny's already there. She's, like, admiring the, the Iron Throne. You know, this is what she's been trying to fight for. She's like, oh, my brother used to tell me it was made with like a thousand, uh, a thousand swords. swords of the enemy after they were slain. And, uh oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Y'all lose me. Y'all lose me. So, and, so then, she, and then, yeah, go ahead. No, and then she. <sighs> it's like, bro, she doesn't even see in that motherfucker. Nope. Like, no, oh, she was, a, I think she was about to or did and then john walks in no she just grabs the handle of one of the swords like you fought for this goddamn throne at least take a oh my god just bad writing bad <laughs> writing and then not only that guys keep in mind that uh um uh john snow has targaryen blood in mm -hmm. him so dragons oh my god i mean it's common sense to me dragons can listen to him they will pay attention to him he rode rogar all right so bear that in mind so he walks Rhaegar, in fool. Rhaegar, Rhaegar, whatever his name is. <laughs> he, he did too. And then, uh, so Danny, you know, she's like looking at the, admiring the throne instead of like taking my damn seat. I would have taken my damn seat and I would have just talked. Like, common sense, a ruler you just conquered, the first thing you want to do is sit on that throne. Like, that's what I would do. If yeah. I want, I'd be just, I would go and sit on that throne and just admire, like, this is where I'm sitting. I'm the ruler. You know what I mean? But she doesn't. Uh, Jon Snow comes in and then they have this conversation. It's a very in depth conversation. Where, but it seemed kind of light too. I mean, she was smiling and telling. Yeah, to him. Like, yeah, she yeah. was happy. Yeah. And and the thing is, this is how I know the writing was bad. They they there's things she says that make her seem like a tyrant. She mm -hmm. he's like he's like well you know how do I know what's good? She's like you know and I know. And then he's like what about everybody else? She's like well they don't it's know. not they don't know. Oh they don't I'm, have a choice. Yeah they don't have a choice. And so he's yeah bad writing dude. Like, <laughs> oh my god dude. Like, I'm not a great writer. I don't write shows. Y'all can talk shit about me all y'all want. But come on, man. It's, like, fucking obvious. Mm -hmm. And so they're having this discussion, and he's basically telling her, like, why did you do this? Like, like, how do you know what's right, and how do you know what's wrong? And she tells him. And the moment she says that, she's, you know, and she's happy. She's like, rule with me. And, like, look, it would have been great. There could have been several endings from moving forward. Mm -hmm. He could have got with her, and they could have ruled together. Mm -hmm. He could that would have been okay for everybody. Everybody would have liked that. Or or he could have told her, No, what you did is wrong. I'm leaving. And, and then go you, to war with her. And then go to war with her. Like those two things would have made sense. Mm -hmm. It would have been like, I get it. Okay? Once again, sloppy writing, hurrying this motherfucker. So while they're talking, she makes out with him. She gives him a kiss. She's happy. She lets her guard down and he stabs her. Yep. And he Actually, kills her. Uh, when when that happened. I was like, "Oh shit! Did she stab him, or did she, he, he That's stabbed what I her?" Thought. That would have like, been more oh, of a twist. Shit. I'm like, if she would have stabbed him, that would have been way better. That would have been way better <laughs> because it would have been like it would have made sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like she she got him because he loved her. She trapped him, and she's like, "No, fuck this motherfucker!" Like he's yeah, because he's the he's yeah. he has a, a more of a calling that she does for the throne. And, and then you would have gone to war. It yeah. would have made sense. Mm -hmm. It would have made sense. No. He stabs her. He kills her. He kills and, her. And he's, he tells her right before they kiss, and, and he's like, you're always going to be my queen. I will always serve you. And then he stabs her. Mm -hmm. And then um, we lead to this moment where he, he puts Danny on the ground. And I, I've been looking at interviews when they, when they ask uh, the, the girl who played Danny, um, like, what she thought of the Indian. And she wasn't very happy about it. And I don't blame her. Mm -hmm. The buildup of her character to make her seem like a strong, apparent heir for the throne to make her seem like a good person, like she's fighting for the free. And I guess I get it, the whole tyrant thing. Um, but if you were just going to kill her in the end just like that, in a measy-peasy way, a cheesy way, mm -hmm. uh, I guess. So next thing you know, 
you know, Dragar, Drogo, Drogo, Drogon. Comes in, <laughs> yeah. Drogon, whatever. The fucking, fucking dragon name. comes in. He's like, like hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> what's going on here? He's like, hey, so why, he, why is Danny on the ground? <laughs> he knows what's me. Like, Bebop knows what's Dad, <laughs> fucking Simba. <laughs> 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 fucking Just Simba like all over again. Yeah. Mom, and then, um, and then uh, he's fucking like, like moving her like with his nose, like, hey. And that's what Simba did. They must hey, have got that from the Lion King, bro. Hey, <laughs> get up, bro. Hey, you good? Like, dang, Papa? you had too much party with you know, too much of that wine. Good wine. Okay, anyways, yeah, yeah like so, so Drogon, like he he realizes the uh, Danny's dead. And yeah. this part right here, I it's was so like, stupid. I was like, it's okay, so, so we're finally gonna test his theory. Of John's uh, Targaryenism. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, here we go. This fool is gonna burn this motherfucker and see and see if he dies or not. So Dro- Drogon, of course, looks pissed. And then he he looks at John and he's like getting ready to throw some fire at that fool. Next thing you know, the fucking dragon cocks back, gets ready to fucking blast him, and he turns his head and fucking starts melting the Iron Throne. I'm like, what? Okay. okay. Like, what the fuck? What? Once again, another way this could have gone. Remember, Jon Snow has Targaryen blood in him, yep. so according to the show. He can control the fucking dragon. He can what literally go. He can get on the dragon's back and fly the fuck out of there. He can literally. I thought like, he was going to do that too. Bro, it would have made sense. <laughs> How the fuck do you mean to tell me this motherfucking dragon burns every fucking thing, okay? Including the melts the Iron Throne, okay? Then he grabs Danny. And flies off. Bye bye. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You put so much emphasis on the dragons. You spent two years. Oh my god, dude! Yeah. It was just, it's just like wow. And like, I don't mean to to get because I'm just, I'm just fucking ranting right now at this point. Because no, go I, ahead, man. I mean, honestly, I at like this point, I, I'm not holding nothing back anymore because they they ten fucked it years, up. years, dude. They fucked. Yep. Okay. So then these mother, this motherfucker flies off. You could have got Jon Snow to fight, and then he's on the dragon. Who the mm-hmm. fuck's gonna kill him on the dragon? Right. Who? And he's they the rightful ruler. The, the you, yeah. yeah. So so you could be automatically. You start up a whole new generation. He could have gone that way, or also would have made sense. The dragon kills Jon, grabs Danny, and then they're left Takes with nobody. On. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then, that makes more sense. Like Grey was like, "Fuck, the queen is dead. Jon's dead." The the Westeros has no king. They decide a king on their own, and then everybody like it would have made more sense. And mm-hmm. and the wheel that they talk about so much, the wheel would have stopped, mm-hmm. and it would have started fresh with and, and, and something else. Once again, sloppy writing, just sloppy. Uh, so the dragon flies away with Danny, right? And then every, the whole screen goes into dawn. Yeah, at this point, everything goes dark, and then uh. Which it is so me, stupid, bro. It took me a oh second to realize it, but when I saw Tyrion, I was like, oh, okay, I see what they did. But so the screen goes black, and then we see, we see of course, Tyrion walking with Grey Worm. And, and just, hold on, hold on, Elias. And you know what I thought when they did that? Mm. I was like, you know how SpongeBob says eight months later? Like, that's, <laughs> that's the first thing that popped into my mind. I'm no, like, I, I didn't realize that Tyrion. happened yet. I Like, when they were walking to the, the, I think it's called the Dragon Pit or something like that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he, they're walking up to uh pretty much all the lords of the land, <laughs> and all of like, Westeros, all of Westeros, Westeros, and like, and like yeah. Some so some time has passed. They don't give an exact amount of time how much, but some time has passed. So like at this point, uh, Tyrion of course is still a prisoner. Uh, John is now a prisoner as well, and and Grey Worm pretty much is like holding it down at at King's Landing, because. At this point, everybody else in Westeros is circling these fools. Like, like your queen is dead. You have no dragon. You have no leader. Like, like you guys need to, like, this is pretty much a meeting for them to either get John back, or like go to war with these people. Oh, and, and let's just mention this very quickly. Let's just mm-hmm. mention this very quickly. Mm-hmm. How the fuck is Jon Snow going to be a Grey Worm with his Masunday? Uh, 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 he should have killed. Him. Or yeah, they should have killed him. It just didn't. It didn't make any fucking sense. It made no sense. Okay, yeah. so, so so Tyrion walks up right with and and and, and then Sansa's like, "Where's Jon Snow?" And then he mentions like, "Oh, we're, we're still holding the prisoner." And then she tells him, "Dude, you motherfuckers are trapped. We, we you're surrounded. Like, mm-hmm. why are you holding?" And then once again, 
if you're the lords and ladies of Westeros, who gives a fuck what Grey Worm says? Yeah. You can just kill him. You can go to war. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever. Oh, my God, dude. Like, they're just sitting there like, oh, Grey Worm has all the power. How the fuck does Grey Worm have power? <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, King's Land is destroyed. Oh, because I think they said Sansa's like we have a thousand men and like ready outside, yeah. and then Grey Worm's like, well, we have a thousand men ready to go to war as well. And but so, the thing is, they're trapped. They yeah. don't know the land. Number one, they don't know the land. Right. Number two, they don't have to hide behind walls. King's Landing is practically fucking destroyed. Okay, yeah. they can literally starve them out. It's common sense. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? But once again, sloppy writing. Yeah. Bad writing, it's just, it didn't make sense. And, like, the moment I started talking, I'm like, how the fuck are they, if you have a thousand men surrounding them, you can literally starve them out. Yeah. No, but the point was to to, to get uh, John back alive. That I mean, Sansa and Arya wanted their brother back. Well, let, 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 let's go. Let's, let's move All forward. right, so so they get to this meeting, and it's pretty much like um, they're looking for a great one to surrender. Uh, they want John back. I don't, I don't remember exactly what they wanted with Tyrion. I don't think they wanted anything with Tyrion, did they? Okay, if they didn't want anything with Tyrion, why is he in chains? That's what I'm saying. Like, what was the point of still having Tyrion there? I don't remember. I, mean, I don't remember if they wanted him back too, or whatever. But anyways, it, it it goes into like them having a conversation of what to do, like how to resolve this issue. Well, well and, then, and, and then Tyrion is uh huh. Oh, it's because a, a great was opening his mouth a lot and making like points and shit. And then Tyrion's like, you don't oh have a yeah, in Tyrion is like, you you're not supposed to be the one speaking. Yeah, you're, you can't speak. You can't yeah. speak. And then Tyrion, and then like uh, he said, well, it should be a king or a queen. And then Grey Worm was like, there is no king or queen. And then Tyrion is like, okay, then we should get one right now. So they're like, well, how are we gonna do it? And then this is so funny, like yeah, that part uh, was funny. <laughs> so this part right here, we have everybody like, okay, how are we gonna the decide it? Shun. And then Tyrion is like, well, you guys are the ones who pretty much run Westeros, Westeros. So you guys should decide. And then everybody's like, okay. So it kind of gets quiet for a second, and then <laughs> Sansa's uh, uncle gets up, acting like he's about to be like, you know what, guys, you know, uh, I'm gonna take one for the team. I'm going to be the king, you know? <laughs> and then as soon as that fool starts talking, Sansa's like, sit back down, uncle. She's like, sit, uncle. Sit, sit your ass. Sit your ass down, boy. You ain't going to be no king. <laughs> he thought real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, he, he, like, bumps his sword against the pole. <laughs> <Both laughs> yeah. He bumps his sword. Like, oh, fuck. All right. That's cool. Well, but, well, yeah, we have, uh, at this point, we have Yara, Yara Greyjoy there, Sansa, Arya, um, Br um, Bran is there? Uh, fucking uh, the little, that little her, Tully, her what's his name? Uh, yeah, yeah. I oh, Robin is there. Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> fucking weird. Robin is there. He's fucking old now. I'm like, oh shit, where you been at, bro? Uh, yeah, Robin is there. Uh, what other lords are there? There's a, like, it was just a whole bunch though. of lords. All right, it was everybody. Brianna Tarth was there. Oh yeah, Brianna Tarth uh, was the there. New, the new, uh, uh, the new holder of uh, Baratheon. What's his name? uh the son of robert baratheon oh was uh, there. uh gendry was there gendry yeah. was there yeah uh padre it was just a whole bunch of people Potter the point there, is yeah. they, they go over who they think and then oh samuel samuel yeah was there. samuel Sam. samuel charlie was there and yeah. then all of a sudden we hear sam i just i just can't you hear I, sam like look <laughs> um oh uh, well if we're gonna pick a king or queen to rule over the people uh, maybe we should get the people to vote for it, and what then they start busting laughing. They're like, "What you think? What do you think this is?" And that just shows the pettiness of these la these ladies and lords, and it, yeah. it's just bad writing, bro. And then he's like, "Well, the next thing I'll give my horse to vote, or I'll give my like, come yeah. on, man, just stop being stupid." So point is, uh, um. Tyrion's like, I've had a lot of time to think about this. Oh, yeah. Tyrion it, starts making another speech. This one, yeah. I was kind of like, fuck, man. You already made like a couple of speeches, bro. Like, Yeah. On, and then, like, <laughs> and he's like, you know, I had a time to think during the eight months later. And uh, well, I've decided, you know, the most reasonable choice. Because he goes through his whole spiel, dude. I'm not going to cover that shit. That shit <laughs> made no fucking Something sense. Something about stories and uh, like. Yeah. Other, and he's like, the, the holder of our members. History. The holder of our history is Bran Stark, so he yeah. should be king. So, and then he's like, Bran, I know you don't want to be king. Can you please be king? And then <sighs> Bran's like, why, why do you, why think, do you I'm think I'm here? Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. 
Shut your bitch ass up. A boy about to put some 20s on their fucking wheelchairs, boy. <laughs> hey, yo. Real look, quick. Look, I... I think in the books, the Three-Eyed Raven, he's not going to be the king. If any... Dude, if the Three-Eyed Raven with that power, there have been several Three-Eyed three Ravens. From mm-hmm. what the, you don't think any of them would have been king already? If yeah. that was their goal? Like... Ah, oh, come on, writers, come on. Yeah, but I don't think they were ever in this situation either with the White Walkers. I think that, no, they were. They yeah. were. Yeah, That's but it wasn't to hiding. the point where they were, like, invading the South already. I guess. I, I think that it was, uh, I just think it was a dumb choice. Um, I think it was a, but it should have never even gone there. I think it was a mm-hmm. stupid way of writing. I think it was um, a stupid choice, too. I think everybody... I mean, there was a lot of people that said it was going to be Bran, but then I, I was one of the ones that were like, I don't think he's going to be Bran because he doesn't want it. And then that's why they kind of like threw the wrench in there. Like, well, we're going to give yeah. it to Bran because he doesn't so, want it. It just didn't make sense because he was not really a central character. He was not like a, a main person that that was trying to go through that. It was a stupid choice, and I feel like it was poor writing. It yeah, will. like at, at this point, like so, so Tyrion's like, you you want to be king? He's like, yeah, sure, why not? So then, like down the line, they're like, I, 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 whatever. But then Santa like turns to him, and I was like, oh shit, like this is where, like they're gonna go to war with Santa because she's about to say, fuck you, I don't want you to be king, I want to be exactly, king. exactly. I thought that was that moment. I thought this is the part where Arya's gonna have to take out her sister. I was like, oh shit, here we go. Yeah, and then and then she's like, look. I love you, but I'm not giving up the North for you. We're going to be independent. We're going to stay independent. And, and this then, is Bran. Okay. Okay. Like, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, my shit. Like, dude, like, uh, the whole point of this was to unite <laughs> the seven kingdoms. And then they you. They became the six kingdoms. And then, and then, then all of a sudden you get rid of. And you just. Oh, Danny. and then and then uh, yeah, they were like, "Well, what if Terry and and he's like, I want him to be the the my hand," and and then Grey Worm is like, "Well, he did a lot of wrong. He has a lot of uh, shit to repay." And then Brand is like, "Yeah, he did a lot of wrong, and he's gonna he's gonna pay for it by being my hand, and he's gonna he's gonna do right by with me." And they're like, "Okay, corny, cheesy." And they're like, "What about cheesy. John?" And then when they oh my god, when they went back to John, I was like, "Fuck, they're gonna kill him, or what are they gonna do?" Nope, they sent his ass right back to the Night's Watchmen. What was the whole point of sending him back like, when he just? Oh my, like, bro! When they did that, I was like, they just—they were like, "Fuck Jon Snow, we gonna fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, and just respect him." And just like, all oh, these writers are horrible, dude. Like, your 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 character, your main character. I mean, once again, Game of bro, Thrones. They brought it's him not, back to life for what? Like literally anybody, what? like when when he killed Danny, anybody could have killed Danny at this point. Like the way they did. Arya could have killed Danny. Sansa could have killed Danny. Tyrion could have killed Danny. Anybody could have killed Danny. Yeah, they didn't make it seem like like it was John's like destiny or like John was the only one that can do it. It really felt like anybody can do it, and they just like just just give something John to do because this season he really hasn't done shit. So as punishment, they send him uh, back to the north uh, to be yeah. in the Night's Watch. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just like, fuck this show. Mm-hmm. And it's not much. And you know what? It's not the show's fault. It's the writers. Uh, I don't know if they have been the writers from the very beginning. Yeah, they've not, been there from the beginning. Uh, but um, they fucking suck. They don't know how to close. Um, they need someone to direct them on how to I close. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, maybe, were they overthinking? Were they trying to do too much of, like, we got to give this final season, like, nothing but twists and turns, what nobody expects? Like, no, give me some shit that I expect, at least. At least if you're going to do something unexpected, make it, you, like, you make it kind of, like, make sense, like, everything else has been happening in the entire series. You gave everybody... Uh, fucking Sir Jamie, fucking Brianna Tarth, because that was just fanfic. That was just for the fans. You did yeah. that. That's yeah. all you did it for. Everything else you've done, you just fucked everything up. Mm-hmm. And what what gets me upset, I think the most, is because, like for example, Breaking Bad, you mm-hmm. put your time, you watch your shows for entertainment. Breaking Bad, it did not end maybe perhaps the way I would have liked, but it made sense. Yeah, it was like I get it. I uh, actually, Breaking Bad, I think, like, now that you're bringing up Breaking Bad, at this point, 
better than Game of Thrones. Better than Game of Thrones. Better dude. than Game of Thrones. And Game like, of Thrones had so much potential. Yeah. You you destroy you let you you were at a high point and in just one season you just Boom. fucking destroyed Big Bang Theory is in it <laughs> and it was better I've never than your shit. That shit. <laughs> oh my god, Big Bang Theory actually made fucking sense. Like, <laughs> oh my god, you have to be shitty fucking writers to be this high and and don't and you know what? Uh, fuck y'all. Number one. They weren't the writers, all right? The Game of Thrones author was the writer. They pretty much followed the story the majority of the time. They just took mm-hmm. certain liberties, okay? And they just didn't yeah. add certain characters. But let's yeah. not act like they wrote the fucking show. They didn't write no fucking show. The only fucking time they wrote the show was these past two seasons. And these yep. past two seasons have not been great. No, well, seven was good. But then in eight, I think in eight we expected kind of the same shit that seven was which was nothing but like pretty much action and everyone a lot of cliffhangers in every episode and like it was good and then we expected that to carry to season eight but season eight like i don't know what they they were i don't know what they were thinking they were just like let's let's, let's do our own thing here george has tell it told us like okay he's kind of planning to do it like this but he's not sure but fuck it we're just gonna go and do it in our way let's let's just wrap this shit up and start working on star wars (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> bro I mean, the way it. they the way they have left this show mm-hmm. the way they they dis, did the service to the show in this season because honestly i know a lot of people are going to be happy the way the show ended and I, it, it makes kind of sense of like it makes no one happy everyone's mm-hmm. just like going through the, the flow of the motions yeah. um which we'll give you we'll get into that in just a moment it just felt like everything was forced everything was hurried there was no point it was just like let's fuck this shit Let's hurry this up and let's move on to the next project. Yeah. And 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 it just shows in the ending. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Brad Stark becomes a king. Um, Tyrion becomes his hand. They see Jon Snow, and they have this scene where Jon Snow's walking and sees everybody. He sees Grey Worm. Oh yeah, yeah. Like and like they make Grey Worm ending like all oh, like he's looking down on Jon Snow like he was an important fucking character. He was not an important character. Mm-hmm. And then not only that, like uh, you see him have like conversations with Arya and Arya's like well I'm gonna go to the west of Westeros you know what's there and like no one knows and she's like well yeah. that's where I'm gonna go and then Sansa's like oh yeah I'm going back to the north and then Jon Snow heads to the north and then we see a scene where where everyone's gathered at the table and like they're talking about how they fix the railroad and they're trying to make it funny they oh make, like, the yeah 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 when Whenever they and, d- have their meetings at the at the table for at, at the red keep, yeah. And the way they do it, bro, is the way they do it is just to piss people off because people are pissed off at this point. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people were pissed off, and then they just make it lighthearted, mm-hmm. and it's just and I'm just looking at it like, man, bro, how stupid. I can think you do? I think when they did that, they were like, like all this shit has happened, like King's Landing was destroyed, but like after a couple of months, and like now Bran is king, it's pretty much back to business as usual. I think that's what they were going for. But well, still, it doesn't excuse the fact of everything that's been going on in the series. So the then, Jon Snow goes to Winterfell, and like, I guess they're sending him on an expedition because it's only no, him. No, he goes to he goes to the wall. He goes. To, no, he goes to the wall, but then he leaves the wall. Yeah, he takes the wildlings with him. I think yeah. he takes he's taking them back because uh, Turbon or Turbo, whatever his name is, is there. Yeah, and then and like, oh, the fucking dog is there too. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Before we get there, before we get there, before we get there. So then, okay, uh, he gets there. It shows a scene where Arya is like getting her equipment. They're all getting their equipment together, and then we see Sansa getting crowned the Queen mm-hmm. of the North. Mm-hmm. This bitch deserves <laughs> to die. This bitch right here, she committed since the very first season. She made, she forced the hand of Ned Stark because of her. Her father died because she begged for her life. And Ned was like, I'm not going to fucking beg for my life. But because she was like, Daddy, please beg for your life. He begged for her life. Like, this was a character that should have been killed off a long time ago. I hope George R. R. Martin kills her. Because in mm-hmm. the book, she's worse. She's more of a stupid ass than anything. Um, so hopefully they kill her. Um, as far as Arya, I did not mind the ending. She gets on the ship and she goes on about her own business. Mm-hmm. I feel like it would have been better if she would have ended up with... Uh, um, oh, uh, uh, Gendry. It would have made more sense. But, I mean, yeah. this this ending isn't bad. But the Jon Snow ending was the worst. He shows up. He gets the expedition together. And then, finally, he touches a, 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 <laughs> ghost. a, a ghost. And he pets. And I'm like, these motherfuckers here. They're just trying to do fan service, dude. And then they leave. And that's the end. And, and to it. me, 
to me, if you leave the show in shambles, you do a disservice to George R. George R. R. Martin. Um, because George R. R. Martin, since the beginning of the books, which is what frustrated me, is like you have no main character. He kills everybody. Mm-hmm. In the show, you made main characters. Mm-hmm. So the least you could do is do a service to them, especially Jon Snow, that you brought him back to life. You made him do all these things. And then all of a sudden, and then not only that, Danny, like you flipped her switch out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. If you would have gradually done it since season one, if we would have seen, because the the, even in the books. It well, tries you know what? Go- maybe, maybe we can hold Amelia Clark accountable for that. Maybe her acting is just not to that par. Because honestly, speaking of Amelia, outside of Game of Thrones, what the fuck has she done? No, she has no she, I think she's a shit actor. I'm sorry. Like, she, she, I mean, not only does she look weird without the gold platinum hair, whatever it is. <laughs> like, I don't like how she looks, bro. She looks ugly. Anyways, I don't think she's ugly. I don't think she's ugly Like, at all. without that, the, the white hair, whatever, she looks basic. Like, what the fuck? She does look basic. But, I mean, nothing wrong with basic. But basic honestly, okay, but besides the looks. Like her acting chops, I don't think they're there. I think honestly, honestly, I think she said this is like one of her first jobs or whatever. That is one of her shows, first jobs, man. And like, well, her she's acting still skills young. are not there. Like, I don't think they ever will get there. But that doesn't excuse the writers for the way they did it. And it no, what else I'm saying though, the writers try to put it in there to where she it's supposed to see like you're supposed to see this gradual decline in her and and like see her become the Mad Queen. But because of the way she she was bringing it out, it wasn't coming across like that. But even in the books, she doesn't mm-hmm. come across as mad. The, the, even in the books, it points to her as saying like she's not she's not her father. She's different from her father, mm-hmm. and these are the reasons why. Even in the books, and like I, like I mentioned before, they they just did a horrible job because mm-hmm. I don't even think in the books she's gonna end like that. Honestly, in the books, I have a feeling everyone's gonna die. Yeah, I thought everybody was gonna die in this. And and that would have made more sense, but I mean, hey, Game of Thrones is over. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, what we got is what we got until the new book comes out, which I'm sure everybody's gonna hop on to read because they're gonna be like, "Fuck this show," and mm-hmm. the ending. Um, I, I mean, just, we, we. I mean, yeah, it's the end of Game of Thrones, the TV series. Um, the books are still yet to be finished, but they HBO is already talking about spinoffs where they're going to talk about the Targaryens and it's basically going to be like prequels to Game of Thrones. Yeah, Wars. and that's fine. I like that because that's already written. Yeah. They can't fuck that up. There's no <laughs> way. They, they can't fuck it up. It's written for you. <laughs> like, there's no fucking way uh, yeah. they can fuck that up. So, um, I think, uh, I think you know, for the first, the first from, from one through seven, the seasons were good. Season eight will always lie in infamy. Uh, as being probably the worst season of Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. um, I've I've seen I mean, a lot of good shows, man. I've seen a lot of I've seen I've seen a know, lot of good shows too, where their final season is always trash. Like I can go down the list, like Game of Thrones. But I've seen a lot of good the, ones that end the, in good and good. The Office, as much as I love The Office, I think their final season was fucking stupid. Well, once Michael uh, Scott left, it was over. Yeah, once Michael left, it was over. Um, How I Met Your Mother was stupid. Uh, Muhammad was horrible. The ending yeah, was horrible. It was fucking it's, stupid. I think it's up to par like this one. It's up yeah, to par. that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's not the only one that's like a major sh- series. But there's there's good shows. Up. But there's like, good shows. But the thing is about this is that HBO, Game of Thrones, this whole series has more leeway, has more creative creativity like available to them because of the of the the theme of the show. Like they. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like they were feeling themselves too much. Like, they were just trying to be outsmarting the room, trying to do something that they thought would be, like, like forever remembered as the best series, uh, like, to ever exist. And they like, fucked it up. I, I think they fucked it up so bad because of that type of shit. Well, I mean, I, I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this because I know it's not the same, but I've seen a lot of good show go show in correctly like it's breaking bad uh and i'm gonna mm-hmm. go i know i shouldn't say it's but anime too uh full metal alchemist brotherhood uh you have cowboy bebop with one season mm-hmm. um you have uh, all these shows uh friends ended well uh you know uh, mm-hmm. even martin ended well yeah surprisingly <laughs> surprisingly friends ended well and they 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 were a show that were really inconsistent like a lot of the a lot of the things that happened like the beginning and the end of the series like it was kind of like what what did he think? but what but anyways yeah but it I made sense at the end it, it made yeah, sense. at the end it made sense and then like not and there's other shows man like 
there's so many shows. Even on HBO, uh, uh, the odds ended well. Um, I think I think The Wire was a great show, but The Wire. As, but I think it ended in like, in like in a dead flame kind of thing, where it was kind of like this show should have ended like a season or two. Or no, I, they were just trying, but it still ended correctly. Yeah, it's real life. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. it made sense, and then. Uh, you as a viewer were satisfied. You could say, "Man, going back, this was a great show." Breaking Bad was like that. You can go back, and as much as you, I mean, spoiler alert: uh, Walter White dies. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, you can go. Uh, well, well, you don't so, actually uh, see him. We don't know that. He we just, don't see just, him. Back. He's just chilling. You yeah. <laughs> yeah, you assume that he's dead, but the way it ended, like you knew at some point that was going to end. Um, it just made sense. So I feel like they just did a they just did a disservice. Uh, uh, there's a lot. Of, I'm just so angry right now uh, about that, and it's not like angry, angry. It's just like anger at the writers for like wasting my time in the season. I mean, um, we're gonna see them again in Star Wars, man. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, I, I don't know what Star Wars they're gonna write. They're writing the new trilogy. Uh, well, they, hopefully they stay away from Luke Skywalker Han Solo because they already fucked that up. I mean, I don't know no, how much that, more that trilogy is that over. Up. That 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 era is over. I don't know what yeah. they're gonna do next. I mean, we're literally like at the end of this year, we're gonna see what uh, episode nine, right? I think that's this year, right? Well, you guys are gonna see it. I don't. And know. like whatever, whatever happens at the end of nine is pretty much gonna give us the idea of what's gonna happening in the next trilogy. Well, I'm I'm not gonna watch nine. Man, you watch it, bro. I'm not watching it, bro. Like Man, like it. I have I, I have never seen I have never seen much disservice in in, in, in in shows until I think recently these past two years have been horrible mm -hmm. um, Game of Thrones but hey man we have Attack on Titan and it's fucking good right now <laughs> oh um, I honestly uh, uh, guys if you have not watched Barry uh, it comes right after Game of Thrones I suggest you check that out so it's a really good show it might not be for some but I think mm -hmm. it's a good show um, I, I mean we're just gonna watch out for the see what's the next best thing maybe the cowboy bebop that comes out on netflix might be oh yeah i forgot the live action thing is coming yeah out. and like i mean that looks exciting i do like the casting so far um, well we have uh stranger things three coming out this and, in july and that and that hopefully does not let us down it's been two seasons uh at some point that's gonna have to be wrapped up to be honest yeah i think i think that we're probably gonna get like one or two more seasons yeah and that's it and they should just yeah. leave it like that leave it alone yeah. um and uh, you know we're also gonna see it <laughs> part two. Oh, I haven't even seen the first. I haven't seen any of that. Oh, watch, watch it, bro. But yeah, I, I, I sorry guys if I did not find anything positive much about this episode. It just was a, mm. accumulation of everything Shit, being destroyed. Let me think about that too. Was there anything? There's there? nothing. I, there's nothing I really liked. I mean, outside of the fact that he pets a uh, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I like, like, dude, it was so bad the last episode. I just went, I literally went to my, my crazy ass Corgi Bebop and I was like, I love you, bro. Like, I love you. Like, you don't defend me worth a shit, but I love you. Um, it was just bad all around, but it's okay. Hey, the show's over. The books will be better, guaranteed. The books are always better, just like Harry Potter's better than movies. Yes, uh, I said. Rating yeah, for I this final episode. <clears throat> yeah. Um, wow. I'm gonna have to give it a five. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it. It was episode six. Fucking two out of ten. It's fucking. Wow, trash. that low. It's I fucking was, trash. Yeah, it wasn't good. I'm sorry. Like I, I've been excusing like some stuff that's been happening this entire series, especially the last season. But this is fucking stupid. I'm sorry. There's no. There's no like recovering from this because this is the last episode. This yeah. is it. Is That's it? it. Nothing else is going to come after this. And then you know what's crazy? Like, we spent, like, a quite a while, more than we have before in the past, talking about this episode, because that's how trash it is. Yeah. It's just bad. It's just bad. Like, it gives you, it gives you, like, if people go in the, 10 years from now, everyone's going to be like, man, Game of Thrones was going to be that show, but, and that sucks when you get that, but, you know, they could have done this, or but yeah. they could have done, like, it's a, it's not like. Like and I keep going back to Breaking Bad because Breaking Bad is a standard. It's not like Breaking Bad. We're like, man, it was a really good show. Like, yeah. wow, you know. So, uh, you know, shouts out, shouts out to everybody, and the whole cast and crew for entertaining me for about ten years now. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, well, they got a, they got that doc about the last episode coming out next week. But I, I don't think anybody's watching it because everybody's canceling their HBO service tomorrow. Uh, I, I, <laughs> real talk, I'm going to be catching my... I'm going to be catching my too. But you know what? Look, no CGI right here, guys. No CGI. I'm Petty Bebop. Um, 
yeah, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. I'm excited for the future. Now that Game of Thrones is over, there's got to be mm. a show because everyone's looking for that next show. Hopefully, Netflix has it. Uh, I'm rooting for Netflix. Hey man, uh, we still got the Disney Plus. The Disney Plus, and we also have a, 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 a Stranger Things. So maybe mm. that'll take away some of that nastiness because Stranger Things, even season two, was very well uh, put mm-hmm. together. There was some. There was a stupid episode where like. Uh, uh, Eleven goes and talks to her sister. Like it made no fucking sense that whole episode. I don't remember but, uh, that. I gotta rewatch that. So, yeah, that but uh, uh, that's the only episode that I didn't like. But uh, outside of that, everything was good. Um, thanks guys for watching every Sunday. For all you guys who who uh, endured my rants uh, every Sunday, uh, I hope you guys liked the show more than I did. Um, because I didn't like it much uh, this season. <laughs> um, you know, but we'll see what we'll, we'll see what we go. We'll see what we do for you. Uh, you guys later. Moving down the road. All right. Well, I guess that's it. That's going to wrap it up for tonight. It's going to wrap it up for Game of Thrones. Uh, so that was Season 8, Episode 6. Uh, like Disappointed. Recap. Probably, man, dude. When, man, Drogon really, like, burned everything down. Burned down the show. Burned down my feelings for the love of the show. Fuck dragons. <laughs> Fuck, man. And then he just took the took his bitch and flew off. Flew off, yeah. Mama? Flew. Mama? Mama? <laughs> Mama? Oh. Dad, wake up, <laughs> <laughs> bro! I can't wait to see that in in, in uh. Oh my in, god! No, bro. The, this is the reason why, guys. Just real quick, you know how like when we were little kids, we used to be like, "What the fuck?" Like it'll be full, good, good, pretty cool to see other kids do that too. When oh they, when, when he dies, but, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you for everybody who watched live. Bye, everybody. Peace. And uh, thank you for everybody who's watching the VOD. Uh, of course, you can always find us on Twitch here live. Uh, find us on uh, YouTube, of course, uh, Facebook, uh, and, of course, on Twitter and Instagram. Yes, sir. Uh, so, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that like, subscribe, subscribe hit that bell button, notify you whenever we get a new episode out, which is usually Mondays and Wednesdays. And, yeah, thank you so much for everybody who watched and listened. Peace. (laughs) All right, guys. Good night. All right, Elias. Ah, fucking show sucked.